Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Oh, we are officially done with Brad's card, so we can get into that. I, I want to keep as much items with me as possible, really. Don't worry, Jill. I'm going to get your help. Tyrell. Where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. There's a storm brewing out there, and I can't leave. Fair enough. Oh, we're at the hospital. Right. Anything in that bag? No. I'm gonna make sure well prepared for what whatever lies ahead. <laughs> okay, can't go through that door, that's fine. I wanna check all my <coughs> excuse me. Check all my bases. Reload. Why is this handgun so weak? Right, Julie needs to do that one. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital. Has metic was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings where we conduct clinical trials of the new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. I don't got time for this! Alright, Carlos. Chill. Pretty sure Jill has plot armor. She ain't gonna die. Oi! You bitch! Why did you fall forwards? Drop. Oh, you cowbag. <sighs> I don't I don't want to waste my uh Oh hello you assault rifle ammo on you lot. Is that a blue herb? No, it's a red herb. Pretty sure we're going to be meeting some nasty creatures in here soon. Ooh, a case. I like cases. Cases has to have tasty treats in them. Ooh, not a good sign. Okay, so how do I get in there? I hear you. Where are you? There you go. Well, I don't want to go through there just yet. I want to cover all areas. There might not be anything down here, but it's best to rule out. Ah, as you see, there's. Ah, oh, damn it. 
needs Jill's lockpick, which I do not have. Because Jill is the master of unlocking, not Carlos. He's the master of cheesy one-liners and hitting on women during the apocalypse. We like you, Carlos. You're all right. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. I'm here to save you. Alright, so it doesn't actually have a tape in it. Okay then. Wait, was there? Yep, there's a file. Reading material. Nurses Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isolation wing. The problem is the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. They've been, we've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? <laughs> oh. Ah, yes. Give me the feelies to help my heelies. Or something in that regard. God damn zombies. About time I got a head pop. But it was You Bitch. Just stop missing, please, Carlos. If you can't see, get a haircut. Oh, good, more handgun bullets. Just as well, I literally almost ran out. Right, so I need a key card for that. A tape for this with Dr. Nathaniel's voice on it, I imagine. Alright. Have you seen Dr. Nathaniel? No? Alright, good talk. Not gonna go that way just yet. Okay, can't go through there. I didn't see that. Do you have a head? No. Okay, that means you are dead and I do not need to worry about you. God, 
Hospitals are the worst places to go to during a zombie outbreak. Because, in my mind, this is where most of the zombies get made. The greatest number of victims are from hospitals. At least in my mind. Right. I'm not going to go that way just yet, unless that's the only way I can go. Yes. I knew you weren't dead. I hear a Charlie. There he is. side now. More handgun bullets. Thank you. Alright. Let's go, let's uh, do this room by room methodically. Can I crawl through there? I probably can. Okay. I'm not sure I like that. Okay, we can't go through those yellow doors. More sight rifle ammo. Another one of these. Okay, I didn't actually want to do that. Okay, I did mean to do that. I knew there was going to be a key here. <laughs> to do that. Let's drop out the other window then. Yeah, it was this way. We'll drop out the other window then, see what's on the other side. idiot. That is not what I wanted to do. Go, let's try this again. We're not going to jump over that this time. Ooh, a tactical grip for the assault rifle. I'm guessing that helps with stability. Alright, maybe I need to jump out a different window then. Oh yeah, there's another one up there. Okay, well, lesson learned. I'll be right back, everyone. Back. 
let's start investigating these rooms. It's a safe there. Are you dead? For now, at least. Oh, no, I don't like this. Note about a tape recording. Dakota. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole, and will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a friend. Ah, oh, so Dr. Bard is not a very pleasant man. Who would have thought it? A man involved in T-virus research is not a pleasant individual. Were you there before? I don't remember if you were there. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But still, I don't appreciate it, fellas. That's sneaky. Oh, I'm running out of room. Let's remember that there. Yeah, thought so. I don't... I'm, I'm not trusting anybody. How the fuck did... Why did you... Oh my god. Missing. That's made me a tad annoyed. Right. Open any of these lockers? No. Got a green herb there. Need to remember that's there. Got more assault rifle bullets. Okay, got a safe. Don't have the combination for it. Okay, don't need to worry about the X-rays. Excuse me. Okay. I don't need to drop down that window. I don't need to drop out that window. Okay, so this side has now been explored. Can I? Okay, not this way. All right then, I cannot crawl through there. I think I know what we're going to find. I wonder if the Hunter Betas was sent here to kill Dr. Bard because of his obsession with the Hunter Gammas. Now, Umbrella said, no, they're no good, destroy them, and he betrayed them, so the Hunters were sent in to kill him. Wonder. I want to explore. 
I suspect you're all going to become a problem at some point. Here we go. Nurses Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst thing imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9pm. We heard a helicopter flying over and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Arana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's current, coming. Help. So you are all hiding in here and the hunters got in. Memos from admin. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop my admin at the end of your shift to borrow it. Is that the key I found? Locker room key. Yay! Ah, it's all right. It's all right, Carlos. We we thought ahead. But see, we plan ahead. That way, we don't do anything right now. Okay. Don't do that. Got an ID card, excellent. Okay, so now I can use this card to get into something. Right? Oh, there's a locker there with a thing on it. Oh god, checkpoint. Oh yes! Oh, what a cool callback! That is a callback to the original Resident Evil. Oh my god. Okay, so the flash works. Jesus Christ. It made a similar noise to the original Hunters as well. Look at a look at you. I like your mandibles. Okay. There's stuff in here I haven't found yet. Nurses station, there's a safe. Sick room, green herb. Locked door. Oh shit. Oh, I know what the card's for. It's for those doors with the card readers on it. Obviously, genius.
Yes, there was one of those doors in here. That's fine. It's a horrible way to go. I wonder if they take out zombies as well. Really used to safe room right about now. Nope, that's for Jill. Ah, oh, damn it. No. you get where do you come out you come out here okay linen room simple lock that room has hunters in it to kill right and they're armored so <laughs> ideally you need grenades for them as well oh god damn it Try this again. We'll get through this room and then I'm going to go find a safe room. But I think the only safe room. Oh, I do not appreciate you pulling that shit on me. The only safe room is where Jill is. <sighs> Stay dead. Right, there was... There was something around here. Did I already pick it up? Oh, yeah. Her besides, that in there, hospital map. There's a map. How did I not see that? Well, I are a big dumb. Okay. Ah. I now have the map. That's the staff room. The records room. Oh my days. Thank you. It's a safe room as well. 
All right, what have we got here? Nurses Journal, September 28th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering, delirium, and signs of hypophagia. I've no idea if I've pronounced that properly. Probably, probably not. Possible infection. Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young has bit, was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disaffected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. I don't think you're going to, love. Any any other things? Yes, bullets. Right, let's clear up some space. Uh, uh, no, I'll keep both of the Heelys on me, and I'll end this episode here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.